Hello beautiful Pisces, welcome back to your extended for this morning's reading where uh, Spirit was telling you that your magic lies in the action that you take at the end of the day. Really that is that is what they were trying to say. Okay, we have the willow spirit with flexibility and a strength. And these can end up being opposing factors. Even if you read in the book, it's saying, you know, take some time, think it over. And this one is like saying, no, take root, you know, make a decision. So they're really at the two ends of the spectrum. But we're always moving one into the other. We're always transforming Pisces. I decided to take the Chakra Wisdom Oracle cards because I feel like they talk about possible... I don't know, stuff that you could be going through. I'm going to leave the book out, even though I don't use it very often. Uh, sometimes, you know, sometimes I feel like I should be. So, let's see, Pisces. So, thank you for being here. As well, there is a playlist of older videos. You probably noticed that in the first video this morning. If you're new to the channel, I post twice a day. So this is the extended. You might want to go watch the first one if you haven't seen that one yet. Because this one will make a lot more sense. And plus, it's fun watching them one after the other two, I think. Um, I do it because it's better for the channel, actually. I will probably post them one after the other if, uh, if YouTube was uh, more accommodating in uh, getting the videos out there. But um, pacing them it seems to be better. So I know none of you have ever asked why I do that, but it's for that reason. So there you go, Pisces. Let's see here. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> Ooh, vanity and impatience. All right. So you have blue. That is your communication. Um. Let's see here. What is that trying to say here? Oh. Okay. The vanity card coming in, I could say, you know, I could say, stop being so vain, Pisces, but I won't. It's not really about that. It's, I feel that the world we were living in was, if anything, Pisces were more sus substance than vanity, to tell you the truth. i uh, any Pisces that watches this, we're more substance than vanity. That's why we're beautiful. That's why we're beautiful. We walk out there in beauty. We walk in beauty because it's in beauty, not outward beauty. Vanity talks about outward beauty. And that's what I was talking about this morning, the cup that is adorned on the outside. Okay, they're showing me the cup again with all the beautiful bling and the chains and it looks like gold and everything. That had to do with how do you, I look to the outside world and it was about vanity, about looking good, but less about feeling good. Okay, so the other card speaks to me of impatience and I feel that for some of you, if you have very, if you do, especially if we have uh, some fire energy in our charts, or some really like Knight of Swords energy, such as right here. We get very impatient in, in, in going for things, but we're also thinking, well, if I'm too impatient in going after something, uh, if I don't stay in this state of flexibility of juggling, okay, um, you're gonna miss it. You're gonna miss like the, the thing. Okay, so yeah, I went shopping with somebody. Uh, a younger somebody, and we were shopping back then for prom dresses, okay? This is a long time ago now, but they brought it back up. They brought it into my mind. Um, even though they had tried one or two dresses, and the first one they absolutely loved, uh, and they beamed when, when they put it on, um, kept trying dresses, kept trying more dresses and more dresses and more dresses. And at one point I said, why are you trying so many dresses um, even though you found the one? You know what you want. It's obvious that you look beautiful in it and that you look like, you know, ethereal and gorgeous. And it was the fear of missing out because there were other dresses there. If there's, you know, a hundred dresses, why not try them all? Even though I know what I want. 
it's a fear of missing out. So I'm feeling in this card the impatience of it is is you feel that if you're impatient or it will feel like you're impatient. In other words, like if you you found the thing you want and you're going for it like the Knight of Swords going, I'm sure of it, I'm going to grab it, I'm going to go. It's going to bring out like a sense of people are going to think, oh, you're impatient. And maybe you should have waited. It's, it's more of a feeling that if you pick the wrong thing, you're going to say, if I hadn't been impatient and I had tried, you know, all the hundred dresses, uh, maybe I would have seen that this one really wasn't. So it's, it's a doubt thing. It's a doubt thing. So these are the outside factors that are driving right now. And I don't know why they're bringing that in, but it's about, before it was about all the show, how it looked like, how it appeared. And a lot of this is the same thing. I feel that you, you've been working from the inside out, but you're still working with stuff that deals from the outside in. It's not really going in, it's just the outside. You understand? I'm trying to say this as clearly as I can, but that's what I feel from this. I feel that the the factors that are stopping you, that are really putting you, that are really tripping you up from moving forward has to do with how things have been, how they appear to be, changing into a new format, and also the fear of making a snap decision that you might regret. There you go, that's it, that's what I'm looking for. The snap decision that you might regret later. Weird, weird Pisces. This feels so not you. First of all, it's Blue's communication, it's Libra, it's not Libra, but Justice, it's, uh, it's air sign energy, okay? It's like trying to balance things out from the old and the new and they don't fit. A lot of this stuff doesn't fit. So ultimately, you're going to have to do this Ten of Swords and let it go. Okay? Because you're going to boggle yourself for a long, long time trying to figure out why this doesn't work. Hmm. Interesting. The one thing that I love about these cards, though, is that you have a figure here, an elderly figure dressed in purple. And I feel that's like your intuition, okay, kicking in. And also here, you have like a form helping you on this ladder. Okay? So it's it's saying there's forces here trying to help you make these decisions, trying to figure out what you need to be doing. You should trust that. Okay? You should trust that. Okay, so we're going to look at this Queen of Swords, this Queen of Swords, not the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Cups, absolutely. Aha. Okay, Nine of Wands, yeah, preparation. And I feel that's what you have been doing. You've been persevering, you've been preparing for such a long time for this. Nine of Wands is like, oh, I'm so tired. Ah, there you go. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I've been working so long. I'm so tired. Okay? You have been tired. You have been working. It is time for you to just take a cup of cafe cocoa and relax. Okay? Um... You work so hard for everything that you're doing, and that is your magic, Pisces. You do good work, okay? You should trust yourself in that. You should trust yourself in that. The constant assessment of everything. Am I making the right choice? Okay? Should I put more water or more bling in my cup? Put more water. Okay. So the Wheel of Fortune is coming in. And it's coming in for me more like a tower moment, which is going to sound weird, but it's not. Because the Wheel of Fortunes is about cycles and shifts. This is letting you know that this wheel, if you look inside, it's in motion. Do you see it turning? It's picking up speed. It's picking up momentum. 
it's time for you to start moving. Get out of this assessment mode because this is the tower part. Regardless of whatever you do or not do, things are going to have to change. Wouldn't you rather be the one making the change? Wouldn't you rather be the one taking the few steps instead of being pushed onto a path? Okay? Movement, transformation, everything that has to do with constant change, this is our planet. Okay, we are constant change. We're the same, but we're changing. So just remember that. You have to keep moving. The chariot at the end coming through. Right. Make a decision. Ace of Swords. Clarity. I get it. Breakthrough. Hop on that. Hop on that skateboard. Hop on your chariot and go. Okay? It's time to make it's time to make your way. You've done a lot of hard work, Pisces. You have absolutely done this hard work. These are things you don't you don't need these things. These things are you've been guided. You don't need to pay attention on how the world was. You just need to concentrate on how you want your world to be. Okay? It's time to take action on it. It's time to move forward in it. Knight of Swords. Moving, moving, moving. Well, I feel like I'm being mean to you guys this week. I'm so sorry. Kicking you in the boot. The boot. In the boot. Not in the butt. In the boot. Adaptation and growth. I'm keeping these upright, by the way. This one came up reversed, but I don't feel reversed. I feel that it is growth. Okay? But I feel that maybe in reverse you're slow to grow, and I want you to pick up the speed. Okay? It only means that this is kind of muted, this energy of growth. The Princess of Pentacles. You want to go slower than, you want to adapt, you want to go slower, I want to adapt, I want to go slower. I really want to go slow, and this is going, no, 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 you've done enough adapting, you've done enough of this, move, it's time to move, you know, um, switch the energy up. This is your fear, your fear of screwing up your harmony, your happiness, okay? You're going, oh God, what if I make the wrong step? You will. I'm going to tell you right now, some of you will. You're going to make a big wrong step. What are you going to do? You're going to fix it, right? You're going to fix it. You're going to become unstable, and then you're going to move on. You're going to feel the ground like you're going to go, what? This is the Eight of Cups. This is like moving on. This is telling you. You're going to do more moving on in your life, Pisces. There's no use of fearing it. Change happens. When you do do something that's not in the right place or the right format, it's got something to teach you. It's an experience you need to go through. Instead of going, oh crap, I'm such a failure, all you should say is going, wait, I made a wrong move? What am I not seeing? What's happening? What do I need to learn here? What is the nugget of wisdom that I need to pick up that's going to propel me even further in the future? Because there's something important here I'm, I need to see. That's the way you got to... Bite out into life. Bite into life. Not bite out. Bite in. Out is out is this stuff. It's that vanity stuff. Okay? It's that fear stuff. And when you do that, well, you get back into alignment. Harmony returns. Temperance. Balance. There you go. Okay? It's right here. Balance. Right beside justice. The other card of balance. Okay. You have to have patience with yourself, and you can't live in fear. Man, living in fear is just, nope, nope. Page of cups, page of cups. I 
I think this is the King of Pentacles, Conception, All right? For this, this is the King of Pentacles. They have the word conception underneath, and conception for me is the idea of creating something, right? Even if it came out this way, you've got to go back to this energy right here. The Page of Cups, he's the dreamer. He's the one who comes up with all these ideas. So he's conceiving them, but you have to turn that in this way. You have to go back to this. You have to go back and forth between these two. And that's how you're going to become abundant. That's how these plans are going to come to be, okay? But you can't stay in a dreamer mode. And you can't always be moving at fast paces. You can't always be the master energy who knows everything because at some point you have to pull back and learn more. Sometimes you can learn on the move, but sometimes you need a pause. And sometimes that pause needs to end. You need to move again. It's just the flow of things, Pisces. Okay, if the Four of Cups here, let's see if I can actually. Eh, these are not the best cards to ripple shuffle, so. Right, Four of Cups. <laughs> Seven of Pentacles, there it is again. Delay. Yeah, there, this energy keeps coming out. It's the same one, right? But this is the right word. With this Four of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles, all you're doing is delaying yourself further from moving forward into your life, from stepping into your power, okay? Do the hard work, move. Move. Start working again, okay? Start chiseling, start chiseling at this. You can do it. You can figure it out. You can start moving ahead. You do such great work, Pisces. Hangman again underneath the deck. I'm telling you, it happened this morning. It's happening again. It's telling you, you got to get out of limbo. Okay? You have to get out of this limbo. Right? I love this card. This nine is usually the hard work, but it always says prudence at the top. And this card, this deck, for some of these, I have to read them intuitively. But I picked it specifically for that because I figured that the keywords would be coming out the way that they should. Okay? As soon as you do the hard work and you stop being prudent like this, okay, prudence is, is, would be the thing here. You've been prudent. You're trying to make sure that everything is covered before you actually do. Not really fully realizing that you've covered just about as much as you can. You need to start moving forward. Okay? That's what they're saying. Prudence is really not going to do it for you. Hard work is. Hard work is. This. This. Okay. What's up for you, Pisces, which you're not seeing? Right there. Right there. I'd high five you if I could. Right now, I would. Okay. If you needed any indication to any, like, if this is a video where you're going, should I or shouldn't I? That would be the question to Spirit, should I or shouldn't I? I think it's a yes. I think it's telling you you've done the work. That you are magic, Pisces. You have the magic to create what you want right now. Just do it. Just begin, okay? And don't be afraid to stumble. Don't be afraid of mistakes. Don't be afraid of the big word, the failure word. It's not really failure, it's wisdom. It's wisdom to try and then try again. Look at all the big entrepreneurs in the world, the people, the big the, the big lovers of the world, anybody who's ever taken chances. It's not that they haven't failed, it's that they didn't give up. That they took the chance, that they took the first step. You just need to believe in yourself and do the very same thing. That's simply, that's all. That's all there really is to it, Pisces. There's no great big secret to it. It's just deciding that you've, you're fed up of the delay. You're fed up of just sitting there waiting for things to happen. And you decide to do it. That's pretty much it. Anyway, Pisces. I would like to thank you for everybody who shows me this awesome support. You keep coming back. You keep coming through for me. I appreciate you all so, so very, very much. Whew. 
these are a lot of energy for me Pisces because they show me just a very fraction of how much power you really hold and you are so much more powerful than you know <laughs> you're very very powerful Pisces um, so I'm going to transfer that power to you. I'm going to ask your guides to really give you an indication today, a sign, something to let you know that you truly are beautiful, you're creative, you have everything you need to take that forward movement in your life so that you can finally go and walk in that direction. They've telling me this video for some of you who have started taking that movement but get scared as you're walking on your journey. They're telling you not to be afraid. You are doing all that you are meant to be and you are exactly where you need to be. Thank you so much Pis Pisces. Uh, Pisces, what did I just almost call you? Thank you so much Pisces for being here. Love, light and blessings. I will be back tomorrow with the big spirit message. And you know what? Remember what we were talking about this morning? The seven plus the ace of pentacles makes the eight. That's what we're talking about tomorrow. <laughs> Can't make it up, you guys. Take care. Have a great, great evening. I'll see you tomorrow.